fascinating. How does that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Another Tevinta. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a Magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinta, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. Stop talking like you're waiting for applause. Just tell me what's going on. What? There's no applause? Fine. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died? You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down? Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. I'd like more proof than magical time control. Go with it. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, to Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake, you have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Maybe there's a connection. Or they see you as a threat. If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. All this for me. And I didn't get Alexius anything. Send him a fruit basket. Everyone loves those. You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. Isn't that kind of him? What does Alexius say about me? He's so complimentary that we are certain he wants to kill you. Not this again. 
Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister... ...has outplayed us. The Magister's son Felix told me Alexius is in a cult that's obsessed with me. I doubt they'll graciously receive our apologies and go about their business. But they will remain a threat, and a powerful one, unless we act. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Other than the main gate, there's got to be another way into the castle. A sewer, a watercourse, something. There's nothing I know of that would work. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. Too risky. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. Keep attention on Adar, while we disable the Magister's defenses. It's a gamble, but it might work. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. We can still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. Announce us. The invitation was for Mistress Adar alone. The others will remain here. Where I go, they go. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. Of course she trusts you, Alexius. I'm sure lots of people put their lives in your hands. You have one of those faces. Yes, the Magisterium tells me that so often. Shall we begin our talk? The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? Don't bother. I know that you invited me here to kill me. If you believe that, I marvel that you chose to come anyway. She knows everything, father. Felix, what have you done? We made sure to disarm your trap before we came in. I hope you don't mind. I've yet to see your cleverness, I'm afraid. You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. If I'm a mistake, what exactly was the breach supposed to accomplish? It was to be a triumphant moment for the Elder One. For this world. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. 
Dorian. I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. Blah, blah. My cult is better than yours. I've heard it a thousand times. Well, you know, it's a chance for the Imperium to really one-up that whole starting the blight thing. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the frozen seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, father. Give up the Venatori. Let the southern mages fight the breach, and let's go home. No, it's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the temple. I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this woman's life. <laughs> Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. No! Blood of the Elder One. Where'd they come from? Displacement. Interesting. It's probably not what Alexius intended. The rift must have moved us to what? The closest confluence of arcane energy? The last thing I remember, we were in the castle hall. Let's see. If we're still in the castle, it isn't. Oh, of course, it's not simply where, it's when. Alexius used the amulet as a focus. It moved us through time. Moved us through time? Can that even be done? Normally, I would say no. Obviously, Alexius has taken his research to exciting new heights. We've seen his temporal rifts before. This time, we simply passed through one. Let's look around, see where the rift took us. Then we can figure out how to get back. If we can. What was Alexius trying to do? I believe his original plan was to remove you from time completely. If that happened, you would never have been at the Temple of Sacred Ashes or mangled his Elder One's plan. I think your surprise in the Castle Hall made him reckless. He tossed us into the Rift before he was ready. I counted it. The magic went wild, and here we are. Makes sense? There were others in the Hall. Could they have been drawn through the Rift? I doubt it was large enough to bring the whole room through. Alexius wouldn't risk catching himself or Felix in it. They're probably still where and when we left them. In some sense, anyway. Alexius mentioned an Elder One in the Hall. Do you know who he was talking about? Leader of the Venatori, I suspect. Some Magister aspiring to godhood. It's the same old tune. Let's play with magic we don't understand. It will make us incredibly powerful. Evidently, it doesn't matter if you rip apart the fabric of time in the process. You have a plan to get us back, I hope. I have some thoughts on that. They're lovely thoughts, like little jewels. You're not dead. You're supposed to be dead. There was a burn on the ground and everything. Alexius didn't kill us. His spell sent us through time. This is our future. Well, it's my present, and in my past, I definitely saw you both die. Well, I'm no more dead than you. Ugh. Now dead and not dead are up for debate. That's wonderful. This conversation has taken a turn for the moronic. Just come with us. We're going to fight Alexius. Why? You want to see what other tricks he's learned? If we find him, we might be able to get back to our own time and stop all this before it happens. Exciting, yes? Alexius isn't the one you need to worry about. It's his Elder One. He killed the Empress of Orlais and used the confusion to launch an invasion of the South. The army was all demons. You ever fought a demon army? I don't recommend it. Well? 
Shit. I know, right? Let's move. No time like the present. You've returned to us. Can it be? Has Andraste given us another chance? Mako, forgive me. I failed you. I failed everyone. The end must truly be upon us if the dead return to life. I'm not back from the dead, Cassandra. I just got... Well, this is hard to explain. I was there. The Magister obliterated you with a gesture. Alexius sent us forward in time. If we find him, we may be able to return to the present. Go back in time? Then can you make it so that none of this ever took place? If Dorian is right and can actually reverse the spell, then yes. None of this will happen. Andraste, please let that be true. You're alive. Oh, I saw you disappear into the rift. Fiona, is that really you? What's left of me? Can you tell us the date? It's very important. Harvest Mia. Nine... 942 Dragon. 942? Then we've missed an entire year. I must have missed out on a lot during that year. You must beware. Alexius serves the Elder One more powerful than the Maker. No one challenges him and lives. I've never fought a god before. This should be memorable. Our only hope is to find the amulet that Alexius used to send us here. If it still exists, I can use it to reopen the rift at the exact spot we left. Maybe. Good. I said, maybe. It might also turn us into paste. You must try. Your spy master, Leliana. She is here. Find her. Quickly. Before the Elder One learns you're here. I will die first. Or oh, you will. That was impressive. Anger is stronger than any pain. Do you have weapons? Good. The Magister's probably in his chambers. You aren't curious how we got here? No. Alexius sent us into the future. This, his victory, his Elder One, it was never meant to be. I'm so sorry for everything you suffered. We have to reverse his spell. If we can get back to our present time, we can prevent this future from ever happening. And mages always wonder why people fear them. No one should have this power. It's dangerous and unpredictable. Before the breach, nothing we did. Enough. This is all pretend to you. Some future you hope will never exist. I suffered. The whole world suffered. It was real. It's over, Alexius. So it is. I knew you would appear again. Not that it would be now, but I knew I hadn't destroyed you. My final failure. Was it worth it? Everything you did to the world, to yourself. It doesn't matter now. All we can do is wait for the end. I'll admit, I expected a bit more fight out of you. Alas, I am not the foe you remember. All that I fought for, all that I betrayed, and what have I wrought? Ruin and death, that is nothing else. The Elder One comes for me, for you, 
for us all. <sighs> Felix. That's Felix. Make his breath, Alexius. What have you done? He would have died, Dorian. I saved him. Please, don't hurt my son. I'll do anything you ask. Hand over the amulet, and we let him go. Let him go, and I swear you get what you want. I want the world back. Uh. No. No! He wanted to die, didn't he? All those lies he told himself, the justifications. He lost Felix long ago. He didn't even notice. This Alexius was too far gone. But the Alexius in our time might still be reasoned with. I suppose that's true. This is the same amulet he used before. I think it's the same one we made in Minrathus. That's a relief. Give me an hour to work out the spell he used, and I should be able to reopen the rift. An hour? That's impossible! You must go now! Wondering when he'd show. We'll head out front. Keep them off your tail. We'll make this count. The only way we live is if this day never comes. Cast your spell. You have as much time as I have hours. darkness closes, I am shielded by flame. Andraste, guide me. Maker, take me to your side. You move, and we all die! You'll have to do better than that. Is that the best you've got? You won. There is no point extending this charade. Felix. It's going to be all right, father. You'll die. Everyone dies. Glad that's over with. Or not. Grand Enchanter, we'd like to discuss your abuse of our hospitality. Your Majesties, when we offered the Major Sanctuary, we did not give them the right to drive our people from their homes. King Alistair, Queen Anora, I assure you, we never intended... In light of your actions, good intentions are no longer enough. You and your followers have worn out your welcome. Leave Ferelden, or we'll be forced to make you leave. But we have hundreds who need protection. Where will we go? I should point out that we did come here for mages to close the breach. And what are the terms of this arrangement? Hopefully better than what Alexius gave you. The Inquisition is better than that, yes? I suggest conscripting them. They've proven what they'll do given too much freedom. It seems we have little choice but to accept whatever you offer.
You will surrender yourselves as prisoners and conscripts of the Inquisition. We shouldn't have accepted the Magister's help, I know, but... The sky has been torn open. We are all in immediate danger. There is no room for failure now. We cannot close the breach without you. But we would be mad to trust you. If the Inquisition wants the mages, it can have them. We want them gone by sundown tomorrow. Then we have no choice but to surrender to the Inquisition. I'll go prepare for the journey to Haven. The breach will be closed. We must do what we can to restore peace to a world that sorely needs it. They have suffered enough. Why continue to mistreat them? It is not mistreating them to take reasonable precautions. Whatever you call it, the situation with the mages is unstable and likely to deteriorate, just as the circles did. What did you think we were doing, taking the mages prisoner? Alexius serves whoever opened the breach, and the rebels joined his army. They are a captive enemy force. They didn't have a choice. It was Alexius or death. How could you go along with this, Cassandra? At the time, I had no better solution. I don't suppose you have one now. The sole point of the Herald's mission was to gain the Mage's aid, and that was accomplished. The voice of pragmatism speaks. And here I was, just starting to enjoy the circular arguments. Closing the breach is all that matters. Closing the breach will require a lot of magic, and that means lyrium. I have contacts who can help. Contacts meaning smugglers? Send them word. We need every advantage. We have legitimate Lyrium supply lines already. And they don't need to hear of this. Keep it under the table, and I'll do what I can to quiet rumors. We should look into the things you saw in this dark future. The assassination of Empress Selene. A demon army. Sounds like something a Tevinter cult might do. Orle falls, the Imperium rises. Chaos for everyone. One battle at a time. It's going to take time to organize our troops and the mage recruits. Let's take this to the war room. Join us. None of this means anything without your mark, after all. And I'd hope to sit out the assault on the breach. Take a nap. Maybe go for a walk. What is it they say? No rest for the wicked. Meet us there when you're ready. I'll skip the war council. But I would like to see this breach up close, if you don't mind. Then you're... staying. Oh, didn't I mention? The South is so charming and rustic. I adore it to little pieces. I must admit, I'm surprised. We both saw what could happen. What this Elder One and his cult are trying to do. Not everything from Tevinter is terrible. Some of us have fought for eons against this sort of madness. It's my duty to stand with you. That future will not come to pass. There's no one I'd rather be stranded in time with, future or present. Excellent choice. But let's not get stranded again anytime soon, yes? I'll begin preparations to march on the summit. Make a willing, the mages will be enough to grant us victory.